Today, I am here with Sal Flynn. Sal is a highly experienced yoga therapy educator and counselling and psychotherapy supervisor. She is one of Australia's leading yoga therapy educators, and she's trained more than 400 yoga therapists across more than 32 deliveries throughout Australia. And she also mentors yoga therapists around the world. Yoga therapy is a unique modality. So to work as a yoga therapist requires very particular skills and experience. However, I've noticed that a common concern amongst yoga therapy practitioners who work in the field can be born out of forgetting that we're working with the full spectrum of what the yoga system means and therefore what it has to offer. I sometimes see yoga therapists become confused by thinking we have to be quasi exercise physiologists or physiotherapists or some other type of body worker. And while those skills are enormously valuable, they're not yoga therapy. The medical model that they come from is wonderful and thank goodness we have it. But let's remember that what we offer with yoga therapy is complementary to that model. Our aim is not to fix or cure disease and dysfunction, but rather to carefully assess the needs of our clients based on ways of understanding the human condition that come from the deep body of knowledge that is yoga. And then we recommend practices to meet those needs. When our client chooses to engage with even the simplest of practices, it is the practice itself that provides the support and help for our clients to find their way to reducing their suffering. In my work training and mentoring yoga therapists, again and again, I see the power of the simplest of practices that can lead to change in the clients that goes well beyond symptom relief. We see clients finding their way back home to themselves, in a new relationship to their experience that very often includes symptom relief, but so much more as well.